My name is Dr Louise Taylor and I'm a scientist at RB. RB is an international company which makes a range of health, hygiene and home care products. My name's Dr Matt McGurr and I'm also a scientist working at RB. We both work in the research and development area of the company. The role of research and development in RB is to understand what the consumer wants and needs and to find a way to deliver a product to meet that need. Today we are talking about a healthcare product which is sold around the world, Gaviscom. This is a product that provides relief from indigestion and heartburn. Heartburn is a painful condition where the hydrochloric acid naturally present in the stomach escapes into the food pipe, also known as the esophagus. This process is known as acid reflux and can cause extreme discomfort. Acid is a corrosive chemical which reacts with many different materials. A way to measure how strong an acid is is to look at its pH. The pH of the acid in your stomach is pH 2, which means it is pretty strong. It needs to be this strong in order to effectively break down the food we eat. When this escapes from the stomach, it can cause extreme pain and creates a burning sensation. People use Gaviscon as it forms a barrier or raft of reacting with the acid in your stomach. The raft prevents the acid from travelling up the food pipe. The alginate raft can be demonstrated simply and effectively. The conical flask represents the stomach, the acid represents the stomach contents, and the neck of the flask representing the esophagus or food pipe. We add 10 centimetres cubed of Gaviscon. After a short time, you can see bubbles of carbon dioxide forming on the gelatinous raft, causing it to float to the top of the stomach, forming a plug. At this point, we can invert the flask to show the raft stopping the stomach contents escaping. Gaviscon contains an ingredient, sodium alginate, which on reacting with the acid in your stomach forms a gel raft that floats to the top of the stomach contents. Chemistry enables us to work out what sodium alginate reacts with in order to form the raft and make it float. Calcium carbonate, limestone and bicarbonate of soda react with the stomach acid to release carbon dioxide gas. This becomes trapped within the raft, lifting the raft so that it floats on top of the stomach contents, preventing reflux into the food pipe. The stronger the raft, the longer the relief for the consumer, as the longer it takes for the mechanical action of the stomach to break down the raft. In order to analyse in the lab how strong the raft formation is, we use a piece of equipment that measures the force required to break through the Gaviscon raft. This gives us a good indication of how effective the new product will be in protecting the food pipe from acid reflux. I really enjoy working in science as there's always the element of working with the unknown. What's really satisfying is once we've overcome the challenges, the direct results can be seen in the form of a finished product which can be bought by millions of people all around the world. For me, the exciting thing about working in science is understanding the problems that people face in their everyday lives and using chemistry to develop products to help solve these problems.